I heard Tupac say in an interview that you talked about this earlier a little bit. He was he wanted to start a political party. He was I was I, I can't remember who it was with, but he said it was like I'd be so far from where I am now in four years, you know what I'm saying? I guarantee we'll have our own political party because he was talking about I guess how y'all was selling all these records and no politician was like trying to get y'all influence. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Pac, Pac just is one of them type of cats, man. He, his mind was always running. <laughs> you know, Pac was about to do all types of stuff, man. He wanted to get into politics. Like Pac, I remember he said that he put out a letter that he wanted like people in all 50 states to represent Thug Life or, or, be, or be under him, for example. You know? mm. He said, man, he got so many letters from people from every state. Like, look, man, I'm from this city. I got a hundred... I got a hundred young soldiers under me. What? Like, man, I got 50 soldiers. Pop said, man, it, he said, I got afraid. I didn't even know what to do because I didn't know I had that much power. What? And, yeah, he was like, man, it, it, he had to step down, man. Dang. What do you think y'all was saying that, that, that moved people like that, man? I think, man, we, we related, like the people related to us. You know what I mean? I think, like, especially... Like, for example, I would put music aside, but I, I would concentrate. Pac was a poet, you understand? Mm. Pac was a poet where um, I don't listen to music, but sometimes I would go read his lyrics. You know, sometimes you come across his lyrics. And I read his lyrics, and I say, man, the, the poetry, the poet side of Pac, poetic side of him was amazing. Yeah. He was he was a poet that reached the people in the, that was going through pretty much the struggles of life that the people won't put on television or put in CNN he was able to reach the people with his words you know that was very touching you yeah. know what I mean like Pop he started off and he and he would have loved to probably continue to do poetry in a positive way and like he said he got sidetracked when when Jokers was shooting at him and robbing him and trying to kill him mm. that's what brought that other side out of Pop okay. you start hearing him really pretty, pretty much going all out on his music it's because he didn't know how to express himself like I said at that particular time of my life we needed guidance, mm. and we didn't know how to express ourselves. If we come to trouble, we only know how one way to handle it, the way we was taught growing up in the hood. Right, right. You know yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense, man, because, again, I just got to go back to how young y'all were. So I'd be looking back like, man, if I would have died at 25, I was just getting out of college. Or if I died at 19, like y'all was, I was just getting out of high school. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's deep, man. It's deep. That's, that's real yeah. deep. What kind of players did, did he have, I guess, kind of boiling behind the scenes that none of us really knew about? You know, Pop behind the scenes was a, he was just like a type of dude that,